that I'm not able to get this stupid program working. So we're just going to start our walk, okay? And today we're going to let's go the way we always go. Now I also have to make sure that this camera is on because remember the last time whoops the last time um i missed the whole 15 minutes i didn't miss it but it didn't record okay okay should be recording now you guys don't see very much can you Well, I don't know. I was wanting you guys to see more of where I'm walking to. I guess this is okay. I hope it's okay. It's not windy today, so that's a good thing. It's still cold out here, though. Over here is where I saw those coyotes the other day. It was um, Veterans Day, as a matter of fact, because it surprised me that they were, you know, even out and about this far, or this far, you know, over on the bay, because they're usually at the front, which is where I thought they hung out. Now, you know, it's not like I stopped one of them and asked him all these questions. <laughs> I'm only going by what I've heard from other people that live here. So, uh, you know, this is building 62 and it's empty. I just think it would be so cool if they would go ahead and fix this place up, ugh, just seems like such a waste. All this property, you know, well, habitats that people could, uh, you know, people could live in. So I don't know. All right, we're out here, guys. We are out here, out here in it. It seems like there's a lot of traffic out here, so. Uh, today's not a holiday. It's not Friday. Oh, it's ride share Thursday. So maybe, maybe there are less cars because everybody caught a ride from somebody. Hmm? This gun could be easy to cross this street. I might have to go all the way down to the light. This house right here on the corner really looks bad. I would hate to have that person be my neighbor. I really would. All right, let's go, guys. You're jaywalking. I want to show you guys this house. Can you imagine? Is this what they call a fixer upper? Hmm. So whatever. So we are on the other side of, you gotta go this way and then come back around. We're on the other side of Lassen, and today we're in the neighborhood. I've been in this neighborhood before, so just trying to get my little walk on. Oh, look, a mailbox on the corner. Honey, honey. Uh, the... Um, the uh, post office went through some changes a few years ago. 
uh, I guess claiming that they needed to cut costs. And one of the things that they did was they removed mailboxes. As you can see, there's a mailbox right there. But what they did was they, um, I don't think I can make it. They, uh, I wonder if I should have went down some more. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, I don't remember. Septo, wait. Don't get lost, girl. Septo. And right. we can go back this way because I got a I don't have my GPS. So I don't know which one of these streets uh, goes through to um, Devonshire. It's a nice house is over here, nice and quiet and well, I don't know how quiet it is at night because, you know, I'm not out here, so I hope there's no clicking. I keep, oh, that's my shoes I hear. <laughs> I'll wait. I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. I'm standing in front of somebody's house. I was actually going to use the wall, her wall, to put my foot up on and fix my shoestring because that's the clicking that I hear or the sound. But, uh, <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> pardon me, but her window was open and I didn't know if, well, the, the curtains were open and uh, I didn't know if there was somebody sitting there watching me. So, I decided not to tie my shoes there. I bet you some kids live here, huh? <laughs> oh boy. It's crispy out here this morning. Alexa said it was like 56 degrees. And uh, it was supposed to be a high of 80, 80 something. So, uh, we'll be back in before it gets to be that, that warm. But right now, it's chilly willy. So I spent a great part of yesterday, um, trying to find, uh, new concept for for my December videos. Each month I try to do something different and December is coming up fast so I really gotta I really gotta get creative. Why well, is another house for sale? This one also looks like a fixer upper looks nice though uh, it's my poor little nose here and it's that alley I don't walk down alleys anymore you know I'm from the hood we know what goes on in alleys. <sighs> so, we got to get our hill in some kind of way. Uh, we can we can choose to go down Woodley. Or go up Woodley. Uh, oops, sorry, I forgot the, 
the things there. So I don't know, we'll just wait for the next light and uh, we'll go up Woodley. That way we won't have to cross the street anymore. Y'all know I hate crossing the street. These people, these people out here, the commuters, the workers, they be about it. You know, they hit you in California, they hit you even if they wasn't in a rush. You know, you figure being out here and in all of this commuter traffic, you figure that would be one of the things you'd have to worry about getting hit by a car. But where we are, uh, they don't even have to have been in a rush. They'll just hit you. So it's important to get across the street with a purpose. Move, move with a purpose. Uh, because if you hesitate too long, yeah, they'll knock you out. Uh, with their car, of course. So I, you know, I thought we were out here earlier, but it just occurred to me, it wasn't seven o'clock when I left, it's seven o'clock now. So we left a little bit earlier. Uh, I don't know why I left earlier. Um, different Strokes was on. I usually like to watch Arnold and Willis. <laughs> What you talking about, Willis? I heard he didn't like that, uh, Gary Coleman, when he got to be an adult. You know, he was still short. He had some kind of a uh, rare disorder. And so he didn't grow very tall, which was fine, you know, when you're a little kid. But when you're an adult, come on now. Come on, man. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I think he had a hard time. He had a hard time uh, dealing with his condition and uh, being, you know, being an adult man. Uh, I also heard that um, he had to sue his parents uh i guess because when he was a little boy you know making money on different strokes they were managing his money and uh i guess they weren't managing it to his satisfaction so as soon as <sighs> i'll take a break as soon as uh he turned 18 you want to head through with that and uh got you know i guess got uh got what he needs to get uh all right so we're we crossed the the uh the entrance we gotta go up this hill so that's our next thing. There's the bus. That bus goes all the way to Santa Monica. Well, excuse me, it goes to Hollywood. Yeah, I think it's Santa Monica Boulevard or something. It's really pretty out here today. You know, one, one of these times, I think I'm gonna walk around that school. I'm gonna, um, ooh, I stink. <laughs> I need a shower. Uh, I think I'm going to make it across the street and I'm going to do the perimeter of that school. I think it's in a, uh, what do they call it? A residential, uh, residential area. So, would be able to, uh, I mean, I'm just saying, I'll, because you know how I am around other people. So I might get a little no, I kind of paranoid walking into uh, you know a 
making up this hill too good today. Um, oh, it's just a little bitty dog. I'm a little, I'm a little tired, but I gotta make it up this hill. I gotta make it up the hill. 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 Make it up All right. I have to encourage myself, motivate myself. You can do it. You can do it. Make it up the hill. I'm watching um, season 13 of Hell's Kitchen. Right now, I think I'm at episode six. Oh, girl, Lord have mercy. Mm -mm -mm. These people, oh, honey. No, she pulled out there and there was cars coming. Mm. Well, that's one thing I learned about living in this neighborhood. Don't make a left turn on the Woodley <coughs> from Superior Street. <coughs> All right, guys, we are, <coughs> pardon me, we are at the top of the hill now. And uh, it's only downhill from now. Well, from here. Um, hmm, I wonder what's on the roof of that building. Never noticed that before. Hmm. So I didn't get anybody <coughs> <coughs> to respond. <coughs> <coughs> oh, wow. Sorry about that. My goodness. I didn't get anybody, anybody's response to my question about uh, Thanksgiving dinner and traditions. So, uh, I'll leave that question out there again. I hope that you guys will respond to that. YouTube says that people are not watching my whole video. And, uh, you know, they're giving me suggestions, telling me uh, what I should do to keep you guys engaged. And I really don't know what else I can do. It's a walking and talking video. I'm walking and I'm talking. Um, one thing that I did do that I thought would make a difference or would improve, you know, the situation was I, um, I started using a variety of music, uh, based on how I feel that day. <laughs> uh, seems kind of quirky. Seems kind of quirky, but that's what I do. So in the morning, <coughs> I get up and, um, yeah, you know, it's five o'clock in the morning, so it's like I don't want to get out and start walking. So, what I did, what I do, <laughs> is when I get up, I go to Epidemic Sound, and I, I, uh, I listen to different. Uh, different uh, mm, different genres of music so uh, you know it depends on like what kind of feeling I have in the morning sometimes I feel like I want uh, I would listen to some jazz sometimes I feel like I want to listen to you know some little kids music or uh, 
if I'm in a quirky mood or a happy mood or something like that, then I um, then I play that kind of music accordingly. So it kind of uh, when you guys are listening to the videos that I do, uh, the intro and then the background music will be my mood for the day. Uh, problem is, <laughs> uh, I want it to be a variety. So although I do have some favorites, and I guess you guys have probably uh, figured out <laughs> what those are, but, uh, you know, if I can't find something that matches my mood that particular day, I'll just use something that I've used before. So, that's that. I'm going to, uh, well, I, I said this earlier, but I'm going to change some things for the month of December. And, uh, you know, I just hope that I, you know, I can kind of give it a, a holiday spirit kind of vibe if you're about that life. I don't usually do much for, uh, you know, for a holiday and all that. Now, what are these people doing? I don't usually uh, do much for the holidays. You know, I just, um, you know, basically, I don't think I'm going to cross the street good. Sorry. Uh, basically, the last time I decorated for Christmas, where did I live? Hmm. Wow. I think the last time I decorated for Christmas was in 2007. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. 2007. I didn't, um, wow. I haven't decorated a lot. But, you know, I usually do that stuff for Brittany. You know, we get Christmas trees and, and all that kind of stuff. But for the most part, I don't really do uh, Christmas decorations and all that. I give gifts and stuff like that, but uh, yeah, I don't entertain and all that kind of stuff. I don't do. But one thing I do do, do do. <laughs> one thing I do is I like um, jazz Christmas music. I listen to Joe Sample and. Uh, Seaburn, whatever his first name is, and um, you know, just all the all the goody people, George Howard. I I guess my uh, my taste leans more towards the piano, but uh, George Howard he plays uh, alto sax. My father he used to play alto sax, saxophone, tenor sax. Uh, clarinet he played all those different things anyway uh, I never my father didn't play the kind of jazz I'd like to listen to he played jazz but it, the kind of jazz it was was like you know B.B. King and Bobby Blue Bland those people I don't like that kind of jazz every once in a while I'll sing the blues but that's usually the Pointed Sisters or Billie Holiday. Those are the kind of blues I like to sing. So I guess it's a variety of stuff of, you know, what I like and kinds of music and things like that. Uh, yeah, so, so you guys will find that out about me with, you know, my taste in music and things like that. So I really, really hope and pray that um, that this video recorded. Man, you know I'm having a uh, a hard time with my skin. 
this year. Ever since it started getting cooler, well, you know, the season changed and everything, um, the skin on my face is just blotchy. It's, um, I can't, now, not like I'm having an allergic reaction. It just, I don't know. It, I'm not really sure what it looks like. I would say a rash, but it doesn't itch. So, I don't know, but I can feel it and see it around my chin area, uh, on my cheeks, under my eyes, around, uh, kind of like a mask <laughs> around my eyes. I mean, it's not like, you know, uh, predominant. You can't see it like that. But, you know, I see it because I look at it every day. And I'm, I'm like, what is wrong with your face? So, so it, you know, to me, everybody can see it, but nobody's ever said anything to me about it. But I am curious to know what it is. I've been using hydrocortisone and uh, it seems to be helping. I think I need to be more consistent in using it, putting it on my face and everything. So, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I have to uh, write in my journal about that. All right, guys, we are. <coughs> Back on base. Sorry for the coughing again. But uh, we'll be back before you know it. I am not going to post this video right away because it takes a little while. So I think what I'm going to do is post another walk video instead of this one because it's already it's already uploaded to YouTube so that ought to be that ought to be sufficient but I think it's only like 15 minutes but don't worry I'm gonna I'm gonna post something today Oh, this dead tree. <sighs> Sorry for the sniffing, guys. I told you it's kind of chilly out here. I thought I'd be finished sniffing by now, but uh, guess not. It always looks so nice after they cut the grass. Look, you guys, it looks so nice. I think those are this, the, uh, the back door. We have a stairwell and we can go from first floor to the second floor and I think to the roof. But what we cannot do is go out that back door. There's an alarm on it. But you never know. I don't know what these guys do. I haven't heard any horror stories, anything like that. Well, one, actually two, two horror stories. Let me know in the comments below if you wanna hear my horror stories about being at this place. Actually, there's only two. I think it's two. One, two, no, three. Well, I told you guys about that one. Huh. Well, let me know in the comments below if you want to hear uh, my two stories. One about Daryl and one about um, this uh, Hispanic guy. So Daryl and this Hispanic guy. 
ask me about that if you want to. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I am going in here and jump in the shower and get my day started. Hope you guys have a fabulous day. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye.